I, I just think that uh, the idea of having a thing called AI for good is an enlightened uh, program. One of the big questions in biomedicine uh, that's really difficult to deal with when it comes to data science is which variables clinically are most important for predicting outcome. And in the context of spinal cord injury, there are many, many variables that could potentially matter. GWC is, a, is quite a small organization. The data robot predictions allow us to give governments um, some direct data on whether or not we think that a specific set of water points will be working in three different time horizons. So today, in one year, in three years. And governments can use that to develop for preventative maintenance. So going out before a water point would break and trying to do any work that would um, allow the water point to continue to work, to allow water to flow. We have this question we really wanted to answer. We wanted to know, could we predict, could we model um, bacteria results in DC surface waters? So we applied for Data Robot um, because we saw actually like a gap of knowledge. And as a small nonprofit, we always need help. We had this um, research paper um, and we were interested in how can we kind of forecast uh, really um, important um, diseases. It is um, the first paper that uses automated machine learning on a national um, database. We want to be able to match more closely people's interests with the projects that we're recommending to them. I don't really have that much of a graph of all the different kinds of models that people typically use, but just using Data Robot and looking pretty deeply into the models that get suggested to us has been a pretty eye-opening experience. We're trying to match the goodwill of our lenders to more enterprises uh, that are on our platform. Before I had to use like grid search CV and and like set up all these models where in using data robot I just had to gather my data make sure it looked clean enough to the EDA and then send it up there and just this and you know it would come up with every single model and try everything and that's that's a load of work off me and my machine. Where are the healthcare NGOs on the ground? Where are the hospital and health facilities with the capacity to deal with uh, significant medical issues? Data Robot really enabled us to build that classifier in a record time using our historical uh, labeled data. We hadn't seen really anyone doing this before, um, and we wanted to kind of take a very modern approach to it instead of just doing simple models or anything like that. To see the Data Robot platform create a suite of models in less time than I ever could have imagined is so incredibly powerful. I think without it, we could not have gone through the volumes of data and gotten to the algorithms we needed to make this a reality. So we're able to take machine learning insights, which can be quite esoteric, and then immediately have them impacting clinical care a week later. What I really enjoyed about working with Platform was that it, it felt like data science superpowers. It was really one of the first times that we got leaders from literally every department at Donors Choose together to talk about data initiatives. People are really talking about in a different way using AI for decision making more directly um, and that's really exciting. I think the teaming structure of, of your company has really helped us. The actual sit downs with folks at Data Robot who can just tell us straight up, this is what you want to do to solve this problem. We never felt uh, left alone during uh, this whole study. We are really lucky to, to have such a great team around us. To come up with sort of the level of confidence that we have here is a multi-year enterprise typically. You just have to be creative, actually, and then you can you can use it on multiple uh, use cases in the medical field. I mean, it's it's tremendous. So we did start with a with a big focus on Sierra Leone, and we have had great success there in helping the government. We are now seeking to replicate that experience in three additional focus countries. The impact of this project could be really huge, and it, it's really meaningful, actually, also to us. Having a model that can still predict water quality values, water quality fluctuations across the day, um, could help human health in other cities across the world. Right now, there are no guidelines for avoiding high blood pressure during spinal cord injury in the acute phase. 
And through this collaboration, we've been able to narrow this down to a very small window. It's sort of the Goldilocks uh, range for optimizing recovery. That, that's, a, that's a real wow moment. I've gone from driving a regular car, you know, like doing Python, to like being in a race car. <laughs> like all of these models are running. It's given us a lot of um, clarity on what our mission is and a way to think about how to deepen our relevance to, you know, where microfinance has a place. Understanding where the, the healthcare need is and being able to identify who is on the ground, healthcare NGOs and hospitals. And DataRobot helped us to pull that data quickly and then to be able to analyze it. I think as we pull more of that, we're going to have uh, one source of data within 24 countries that's going to show the, the real on the ground healthcare ecosystem as it exists in real time. And I see Data Robot as integral to each phase of that and helping us to do this quickly, which is what really the times demand. If we could cooperate with you for the next uh, 10 years, that would be awesome. Generally happy that this initiative is even happening in the first place, and I'm glad to be part of it. It's a milestone for our team and for um, our VP of Engineering's goals of like where ML and the data science team should have intervention. This needs to be a model for what other data science companies consider doing.